Hey guys, I'm back home from Europe and ready to talk about a Starship. Yes, by the way, this is a Stardesk humidifier and you can get one for your desk as well. I'll have more information about that a little later in the video. However, we now have more information about what exactly the corrective actions were that SpaceX needed to take following the first integrated test flight. And it turns out that all of the items have been completed except for six. And those six apparently are applying to later flights. So it looks like we should be really gearing up to go here uh, it's probably sometime this month in September, which is great news because I'm home from Europe and hopefully able to go at a moment's notice. Now it's interesting Interesting because two days before Elon tweeted some of those corrective actions, he replied to a post from the FAA saying, what are these 63 items? So it's unclear if this was maybe some sort of a joke, but it does look like for the past four months or so, SpaceX and the FAA have been working closely together behind the scenes to implement those changes needed so that Starship can get up and running as soon as possible. So like I said, about two days after Elon said, what exactly are these items? He dropped these screenshots showing some of those abbreviated descriptions of what exactly they had to do. So let's go through a few of them. Some of those items included everything from booster leak mitigation to Raptor leak mitigation, collateral damage from fire, booster reliability improvement, and more. And these could be small items like welding certain alignment bolt holes shut, adding a safety cable to certain fluid lines on high risk locations. But some of the items seemed a little bit more involved, like adding 90 plus cameras to detect leakage during operations. This is part of the booster leak mitigation. And check this out, SpaceX was required to increase fire suppression capacity by 15 times. This is for the aft end cavity environment failure. So to summarize, the FAA has finally completed their mishap investigation report, and they have issued these corrections to be made by SpaceX. And it sounds like SpaceX has made all of those changes needed for the integrated flight test too. We also are not able to see the full report from the FAA. That's because it contains proprietary and export controlled information. The report found multiple root causes for the mishap, but did not identify any of them. In a separate statement, SpaceX said the leaking propellant in the aft end of the super heavy booster created fires that severed connections with the primary flight computer and this led to a loss of communications to the majority of the booster engines and ultimately control of the vehicle. So most of these corrective actions included redesigns of vehicle hardware to prevent leaks and fires, redesigning the launch pad to increase its robustness, incorporation of additional reviews in the design process, additional analysis and testing of safety critical systems and components, including the autonomous flight safety system and the application of additional change control practices. SpaceX also has added leak mitigations to the booster and improved testing along with a significantly expanded fire suppression system in the booster's engine bay. SpaceX has also improved the reliability of the autonomous flight termination system, which took longer to operate than expected back on 420 during their first launch. It's important to note that just because the FAA completed their investigation, they still have yet to give that green light for a second test flight. The original Starship launch license only covered a single flight, so now we're waiting for a new license. It's interesting too, because Elon announced a couple months ago that they themselves have made over a thousand changes to the Starship vehicle. So even though the FAA only issued 63 corrective uh, actions for them to complete. SpaceX has already made several of their own modifications. Some have argued that there's too many changes being made for the next flight, but we'll just have to see how it pans out. We do know that Starship will utilize hot staging as well. So many changes, some of them small, some of them major, and it's just going to be very exciting when we finally get to have the second Starship launch. What's exciting about it too is that if it is in September, really we only had to wait about five months. And keep in mind going forward, this is probably gonna be the longest gap that we're seeing for another Starship launch because we know that SpaceX wants to have a high cadence so that they can test the Starship hardware and the flight programs so that we can get this going in order to get to Mars. Okay, so now back to my new little fancy toy. I'm going to 
plug it into my computer. It has a USB-C cable that I can use right with my MacBook Pro. I press the button, which by the way, I assembled this myself. Um, and it's 18 pieces at first, I'll admit, I thought it was a little bit daunting, but the video provided is uh, very straightforward and I was able to do this in one take and I did it during a live stream. So how hard can it really be? But this is what we are looking at here. I guess I could just do this now. Um, I had someone reach out to me. I don't know, maybe this is a bad idea to do it now. I had someone reach out to me, um, as many of you know, uh, sometimes people reach out to me with different products or different interesting things. So I have not actually set this up yet, but this is, um, a Starship model that apparently vents. It's a humidifier, but it vents and it really looks like the real thing. So I'm just going to open it while we're doing this because why not? Already, I might need to like focus on this guys. I don't know if I can multitask here. This seems a little bit involved. However, um, once I know how hard it is to set up, I will let you know if I recommend it. Okay. Oh, 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 it fit, it fit, it fit. So this is where we're at so far. So we're working on the base. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, strip turns on. These lights are always on while Stardust gets plugged in. And now we'll push the button on the front. And as long as your wick is still wet, <gasps> you should see a little geyser Whoa! of water. You'll also notice a blue light turn on, indicating the humidifier is on. Okay, I think I'm actually doing this right. <laughs> wow! Okay, listen. I'm impressed. I made this live, I assembled this live in one take and it works so it wasn't that hard folks we have the tank farm i mean clearly this is a a great depiction uh, representation of what we see down at starbase so if you guys are interested in this i will link this in the description also keep in mind if you have a 3d printer and you want to mess with actually printing this yourself, they offer that as well. So thank you to Stardesk for sending this to me. I know that Marcus House has one of these and uh, I just think it's a, it's one of the cooler props that I have received. I have some 3D printed models, which are also really cool, but I like that this has venting and it's interactive and, and it looks pretty dang realistic. So again, there's just a quick Starship update for you. I was obviously gone uh, in Europe for over two weeks, 16 days that I was out of the country. So um, getting adjusted back here at home and it was a lovely trip. I spent a lot of time in Spain and Italy. It was my first time to both of those countries. First time truly out of the country since I was about 11. So uh, it was a great experience and I highly recommend traveling to other parts of the world. If you get that chance, I think it really is good to change your perspective and see different cultures. And uh, I just, I really had a great time. So, but I hear that I was missed. So that's also good to hear. And I will get back to regularly scheduled content for you guys. So thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed to Ellie in space, please make sure to do so. It's completely free. Subscribe and also like this video and maybe throw in a comment about if you plan to travel down to Starbase for the next launch.